Hello, Budget Kings and Queens. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Budgets with Elma, and today we are going to be doing my paycheck number one for September. Okay, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. Okay, one of my favorite days of the week. I should say weekend because the weekends I don't work and I get to spend time with my family and friends, all my loved ones on those two days. I'm only off two days in the week and then I work the rest of the week. So with that being said, let me know how your Sunday is going. Okay. What did you do today? Did you relax? Did you have to work? Um, what did you do? Whether with your husband, your significant other, your mini me's, which is your kids. What did you do today? Okay. Now let's jump into this budget paycheck number one. On my channel, we talk about, okay, budget by paycheck. I do the cash stuffing system. I do the zero based budget. I do sinking funds. I do saving challenges. I do anything and everything that has to do with financing. Okay. To reaching generational wealth. Okay. So on my channel, we talk about everything finances. Okay. With your budget. With that being said, let's jump into my first paycheck budget number one. Okay. This month, um, if you saw my previous videos, I mentioned that my daughter, her birthday will be coming up at the end of the month. But when doing my budget, I am going to be budgeting a couple of things to get ready for her special day. So let me show you how I'm going to break down this paycheck and how I'm going to do that, which is why I indicated some hearts because I have someone very special that we will be celebrating their birthday for this month. And just a disclosure here, I just want to let you know I am doing laundry, so you may hear the machine going, you may hear my kids walking around or laughing in the background. They are in the area where I am recording, and they're just chilling out for a little bit as I record, okay? And I will be joining them very shortly, but I just wanted to put this video out just to do my budget and show you what I have planned for my finances for paycheck number one, okay? With that being said, let's jump into it. If this is your first time viewing my video, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name, of course, is Budgets with Elma, and I would love to have you as a family. So if you like what you see, what you learn, and how I do things on my budget routine, please think about becoming a part of the royal family. I would love to have you, kings and queens, as the ones that I already have and that I love and appreciate. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back, royalties. As always, you know the deal. I love and appreciate you, okay? And for you guys, if this is your first time watching, I always take out 1500 out of my budget, my paycheck, after I have taken out my health insurance, my dental, my uh, 401k, my Roth IRA, my um, eye coverage for me and my kids, um, half of my mortgage payment. I always take that out every time I get paid, half of it every time. And then when I have both sides and my hubby has his side, we put it together and we take care of our mortgage and all of our four walls, okay? We are a family of five, okay? And me and my hubby, we do split the four walls right in the middle. There are certain things that he covers fully and there are certain things I cover fully, but the four walls, we do split that right in half and take care of that together together as one. Okay. So my income for the month is 1500 and that's the first part of the, the month. I do get paid two times in a month. So I'm a bi-weekly payer. I get paid every two weeks. So for this time around the first two weeks, I always pull out again, 1500 after all those deductions. So 1500 here. Okay. For paycheck number one, I pulled that amount out after the deductions, and then I have a rollover of $290, okay? So when I take $1,500 plus $290, that gives me $1,790 that we'll be working with for paycheck number one, okay? So let me go over what we're going to take care of. First and foremost, we got to take care of that mortgage, okay? And right here, I put paid because we take care of that right off the bat, okay? We take care of that. And I don't put the amount, me and my husband, we do keep that private, okay? So that is taken care of right at the beginning of the month. Now, the next thing I have is my car insurance, okay? And the total for the car insurance, me and my husband, we do pay $260. Um, and he pays my daughter's portion because my daughter, uh, my oldest daughter, she is a college student and uh, she does have health insurance um, and 
car insurance. And my hubby does cover um, her car insurance portion, okay? So for the car insurance, um, it is 260, but I cover 130, my husband covers 130, okay? For my daughter's portion, that's something he does as part of her going to college. So I will be paying 130, okay? For my electric, it comes up to 287. For my Netflix, we're gonna put $22. For my Canva, which I use for editing, okay? And doing thumbnails and doing my posts that I post on my community post. I hope you guys really love those. And I truly appreciate you guys taking your time out to comment. Um, some of you guys comment on a regular basis, which I truly love. And I just love reading how you think and how you see things and what you're working on financially. And I love that. So please continue to do that. And I will continue to do my part to always post things that are motivating and inspiring and uh, help us as a group, as a community, the budget community, um, pos you know, do well positively in our finances, okay? And I just love putting those questions out there and just seeing <laughs> you guys' wonderful comments. So anyway, with that, um, the, that's going to be 14, okay? So when I add everything, okay, so 130 for car insurance, 287 for electric, $22 for Netflix, $14 for Canva. That gives me $453. Okay. For my fixed expenses for paycheck number one. Now for my variable expenses, okay, I have okay, I have groceries slash food. Okay for $200. I have gas for 60. Okay. And for my groceries, by the way, although we are a family of five, what I do is every time I get paid, I pull out $200 to do our groceries. And if we're running low, like that's not enough when doing the groceries, my husband chips in, okay? But from my actual paycheck, I always pull out 200 to make sure we do groceries. Okay, and so for kids, because my son um, is having his first school pictures for the school year, and he's also getting a haircut, okay? And so that totals up to 50, so I wanna make sure I have $50 in that cash envelope. And for gifts, okay, let's see here. I am budgeting. $50 because it is my daughter's birthday and there's a couple of things I want to buy here and there I buy little things but I want to add $50 extra to that cash envelope to get her something um, that I have in mind I've already looked at it and we've been talking about it me and my husband so we yeah we're about to get her something that she really really likes um, and for personal I am budgeting 27 for myself Let's add all that up, okay? For groceries, 200. For gas, 60. For kids, 50. For gift, 50. For personal, 27. That gives me $387, okay? In the comments below, let me know for paycheck number one, if you're a bi-weekly or if you're doing weekly, that would be your second paycheck. Um, how much are you budgeting for your fixed expense category? And how much are you budgeting for your variable expense category? Let me know that in the comment below, okay? All right, now for my, my debt, okay? I have quite a few things going on, as you know, um, Loans are no longer in forbearance, so everybody's working on their budget and seeing how they're going to fit in adding those loans. So I am no different. I am also going to be adding how it is to budget in having that amount, okay? 
And what I'm going to be doing every time I get paid, I am going to put money aside to take care of that loan payment, okay, for the student loans. So now, instead of just having credit card, I will also have, okay, student loan, okay, and credit card. And I'm going to put CC here for credit card, okay? I am budgeting to save or take care of the amount of $300, okay? That student loan and credit card combined, okay? So that is what's been added into the debt category. And then my daughter, she does aftercare and we pay once a month, okay? So aftercare fee for this time around uh, will be $200, okay? And that's for aftercare. She's only going for aftercare. She is a bus rider, um, but for this month, um, she will be doing aftercare, okay? Because by the time my daughter gets out of school and um, gets out of work, it doesn't match up for her to pick up my little one at the bus stop. And then my son, he also takes the bus, but he gets out of school a little later than that. So he cannot wait for her at the bus. So that leaves her going to aftercare just for a little bit until my daughter... Uh, because she started a new job. So based on how she's going to school and how she's taking um, the training at the job kind of conflicts a little bit with her picking up my little one at the bus stop. So she will be in the aftercare for this month, okay? Um, and that starts on actually on the 15th, the aftercare. Okay, and then my son, he is getting a new pair of glasses and I have to do a deposit um, they are making the glasses for him, but he's getting two new sets because he had his eye exam and he has new prescription. So um, the new glasses, um, we had to give a hundred dollars. They already told us. And so we're scheduling payment plans in order to get the glasses ready. But um, it will be a hundred dollars that I will be putting in to get that started. OK, and so when I add all of these up. That gives me, make sure I didn't leave anything out. Let's see here. So that would give me, let's see, $300. Make sure that is correct. I didn't leave anything out. So $300 for student loans. Aftercare, $200. And aftercare won't always be that amount. It'll change. But this is just the initial fee there. Um, and then eyeglasses is $100 that I have to put down. So that gives me a total uh, let's see, 600, okay, for my debt section. Now let's move to my favorite part of all, okay? And now how I determine how much I want uh, to have left for my savings, the categories that I have to pay myself first, which is my favorite category, is to make sure I'm saving for an emergency, fund and I'm abbreviate since the box is small. I'm going to also have a buffer. That's just in case any of the things that I'm budgeting for are over or under the budget amount that I have in this bank account will cover the additional prices that I'm budgeting for. So for example, if the electric ends up being $300, then the 280 seven, then that difference will come out of the buffer. So I always like to leave a little something in there. And then for my saving challenge, I'm abbreviating, and any sinking, again, I have to abbreviate it because the box is so small, funds, okay? So now let's see how much I will have left. I know for a fact that I want to make sure I at least for saving challenges and sinking funds, I want to at least do $300, okay? So let's see how much I have left, okay, in order to get my buffer amount and then see how much I can put in my emergency fund to zero out my account. So currently now I'm budgeting $1,790. When I minus my fixed expenses of $453, that gives me 1,337. When I minus 387, that gives me 950. When I minus $600, oops, $600, that gives me 
from that amount, that gives me 350. Okay, so that lets me know because I already want to do uh, $300 in my savings. That lets me know my buffer and my emergency fund will have to divide out of 50. So I'm going to go ahead and put 25 and 25. Okay, and that gives me 3 50 okay so now let's see if everything is zeroed out when I take 1790 I minus 453 I minus 387 for variable expenses I minus 350 for my savings category that leaves me with six hundred dollars when I minus my debt category of student loans, aftercare, eye glasses, because my son is getting new glasses, two sets. When I minus that 600, that gives me a zero base budget. So 1790 minus 1790 of expenses gives me a zero based budget. And that's just how I like it, telling my money where to go and zeroing it out. I hope you enjoyed budgeting with me, my paycheck number one for September for a family of five.